Hello, I'm back with a new video. This is my sketch of Grand Duchess Olga of Imperial oh. Russia. Um, she was the eldest daughter of Tsar Nicholas III and his wife Alexandra. Olga was the eldest of four sisters who were Tatiana, Maria and Anastasia. She also had a younger brother called Alexei, who, who was the heir to the Russian throne. Olga had chestnut hair and blue eyes. She was quite melancholy, but enjoyed poetry and reading and was the most intelligent of the sisters. Like her other sisters, she signed her name Otma when they did stuff in a group because they were very often their own company due to their mum's sciatica and their brother's haemophilia. Olga would have been the first to marry because she was the eldest daughter, but um, the plans that went through for her marriage never came to anything and she was considerably considered old when she died considering that she would have been eligible for marriage from the age of 16. Um, she, like her sisters, she trained as a nurse in 1915 um, to help tend to wounded soldiers. Sadly, that took a really bad toll on her mental health and she was assigned to desk duties. Like the rest of her family, she died in the cellar of the Empathic House, is it pronounced, in Ekaterinburg in, on the 17th of July 1918. She was killed by the Bolsheviks after the Russian Revolution. Her death is actually really gory and um, basically all the family died in agony. Nobody died easily, you know, painlessly. And it's really gory. If you want to look it up, watch Bambi or something or I don't know, whatever makes you happy, just watch it afterwards because you'll need it. Um, if there's any other questions you would like me to answer, provided I can find them, you can always ask me. Now, for the artistic side of this, I was inking with my Kuritaki Mangaka pens in 01, 05 and 08. They are really nice quality and I've always trust Kuritaki. I'm one of their most frequent customers, probably. And I think it was really nice using their pens. It just had a really nice definition. And when they looked sketchy, it didn't look naff. It was nice. I also um, sketched directly onto um, onto paper, which was a first for me, apart from little doodles and such. So if anything's wrong, that's why. Now, being the moron I can be, I um, did it on acrylic paper. Now I'm going to do it again on watercolour paper and then I'm going to colour that in and you will see that is, this is the inking and I suppose drawing part of, the vid part of the video. I just thought it might be easier to cut it into two parts because I have a tendency to talk too much when it comes to history. Speaking of which, I got 85% on the test so I must be doing something right. It was on the Roman off so I totally aced it but... It was cool. It was on Nazi Germany. I aced it. Pretty proud of that. So um, I'm. So I actually really like how the drawing came out. Um, I'm actually really surprised. That actually did surprise me really well. And um, I'm actually thinking of drawing Rasputin for Halloween. What do you think of that? Because. He's really creepy, especially if you've read about how he died. And that's like such a good story. I mean, this man is on my zombie apocalypse team. Like with Winston Churchill. Yeah, but that's another story. Um, I would definitely suggest if you're into history or any kind of inspiration, history is a great place to go to for drawing ideas. I actually already got the sketch for Tatiana on my demon art so I might do her next as it would make sense to do their mid-order of age 
I would quite like that. And I've drawn Tatiana in her nurse's uniform, so that'll be interesting. Uh, I'd just like to say I have got cerebral palsy, and that's why um, my drawing can be awkward sometimes. It's something to do with the fact my hand shakes and I have spasms sometimes. So that's why my art's not too mature, but I try and get through it in a fun drawing. And I hope this has inspired you to draw or perhaps research the Romanovs or maybe you have a test on them of it and this has helped you a bit. So I would be really happy if this could like help you, um, you know, in any way. I'm going to be doing the colouring next um, in my next video, which is like part two, which is the colouring. And... That will be interesting because I've got some really lovely new watercolours which you can see under my um, iPad and I'm really chuffed with them because I saved up all my money at the convention and bought them. And that's a big feat for me. And if you're wondering why my hands look so grotty, I course played as Harley Quinn. Hope you had a lovely time watching this video and please comment. Bye bye. Oh wow, it's not over yet. Wow, that's a surprise. Um, I've got a demon art. It's called London Rose, spelt with an Z. And um, basically you can see loads of my sketches. Olga's up there actually, as is Tatiana. I've just got to refine my sketches for Maria and Anastasia. And there are a lot of other sketches you can see. And a lot of other examples of my work. So if you guys have any suggestions, I would really appreciate it. Um, so what do you guys think about Rasputin for Halloween? I mean, he's a pretty creepy looking guy, no offence. I just thought it'd be sort of fun to do for Halloween. So if any of you guys want to say a character you'd like to see me draw, provided I'm actually comfortable with it. So please 